Okay, um, I just started. Sweet. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's been <laughs> probably like more than a, or like a year, right? Since our... Uh, it's been about a year, but I think didn't we we used to do lessons before that too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for, yeah. I I forget for how long exactly. Um. Yeah. I started getting serious about melee again. Um. I sort of had like a very tumultuous uh, twenty twenty three. I sort of like dropped off the map for a while. Mm -hmm. But um, I started up also. I don't forget if I mentioned last time um that I was also doing squid lessons at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm doing squid lessons again, um, and so like I, I'm hoping to. I, I got a lot of value basically out of juggling like both of y'all. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I feel yeah. like both of you are like, in some ways like, similar in thinking. In some ways like, like y'all diverge, and I actually find that like super cool. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know why I brought that up anyway. But uh, Smash has been going well. I think out of my. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> games have been like i'm listening uh like more mental actually um i think like uh competitive mentality and like staying focused and like sharp during um tournament stuff has always been like an issue for me like this uh there actually used to be like a time where i would like enter nightclub and like if i queued into like a top player and then like like they you know they want a neutral in neutral interaction and then like zero to death me on the first dock i would like instantly have like a doomer Mm -hmm. like thought loop in my brain that was like okay this shit's over <laughs> like yeah like, uh this is gonna be really bad you know like and um i've been trying to like work past that be more calm um i think like last night i think i had a much like calmer performance like i was like trying to focus on my breath during matches and like that's good um i i've been also trying to like uh like work around it i guess like it's like hard for me to control the anxiety or those thoughts like directly but like i know that like when my brain turns off like i tend to like short hop near at people and stuff so i've been like trying to like replace that with just like you know dash dancing or not engaging or like taking taking more time to reset and stuff like that mm -hmm. um i mean yeah. I, I have thoughts on the mental part if you want to hear those i would love to yeah hear your thoughts yeah yeah because um i've experienced that before like even still sometimes where um it might be like a game five situation and i lose the first stock immediately and it's just mm. like that thought of like yeah this might be over or like oh shit or whatever yeah um i think trying to control those thoughts probably isn't the best way to go about it because i think those thoughts are just normal to have it mm. is just like um it's kind of like just having like a small fear of like losing or like anxiety about like if you're gonna lose or whatever. Like they're just normal things to experience. Oh. Um, huh. Yeah, I, I think people like I don't know. I wonder if people would think that it's like abnormal or like bad to have those thoughts because like it's melee or whatever reason. But it's just like man, those thoughts are just kind of normal to have like in everyday life and in everyday yeah. activities but because it's melee we treat it differently and like it's a bad thing to experience those thoughts and like you shouldn't everyone always says you shouldn't have like those thoughts and it's like man so i shouldn't like experience anxiety or all these like <laughs> normal things like it's just weird but i think if you understand that then you can kind of look at that in a different way and come up with like better plans to deal with it i don't think there's any like ignoring it or controlling it but i think there's like ways to deal with it and respond to it that can it, help yeah that makes a lot of sense actually like i actually do feel like i feel bad about having those thoughts mid set because yeah. I'm, I'm feeling like it's counterproductive and like yeah i guess in my head i have like this idea of you know like the anime protagonist mentality you know what i mean Where yeah. it's like fuck adversity you know like i'm just gonna like charge through play my game plan and like you know even if i lose i'm gonna like play my best and like take notes for next time or whatever and it's like when I'm deviating from that, like it feels really bad. But yeah, that actually resonates a lot. <laughs> That's uh, such a play. melee yeah. player thing, or a Smash player thing to try and have that anime protagonist mindset or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a lot of times in um, those anime situations where they have those mindsets, like ten seconds before the, having that mindset, they were like probably freaking out and experiencing right. like anxiety. They just aren't playing a video game, so we can't like super relate to it. But it's you know it's probably still very similar yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense it's, so how do you 
How do you normally like? I, I guess I guess you said like controlling and ignoring is not really the thing. Like what? It's gonna be different for everyone. I can already answer that to begin with. I but see. um, it's man, there's so much to say about this because it's like I don't think there's like an answer. I see. I think it, it is like something you just like learn to live with how you like decide to and I think it's also something that you like really really practice like the mental game is like as complex if not more complex as like the whole game of Melee Makes sense. it's like yeah. there's parts of the mental game you have to train there's different sections and all these things and it's like just knowing the theory isn't enough cause it's like you know if we had like six lessons in a row about Peach Fox we both would probably be like pretty knowledgeable about Peach Fox but right, like right. I, it's going to be a lot different if we never practice versus Peach and then fight a Peach right. and expect to like use all this knowledge and theory that we know and we know it's good but it's like it's the same way with the mental game it's like yeah even though you know it's good and that's how you want to be thinking you have to practice actively thinking like that makes sense yeah um and uh like I do have some some ways that I try to uh, respond to some thoughts like that, mm-hmm. and it's less with like language, because in my experience that's never worked. Where I'm like trying to tell myself to focus or tell myself to do this, or I'm like I don't know giving instructions. I think um, in a game of tennis talks about this a lot as well, maybe in a different way, but. Um, I no no no, this part is from uh, Intergame Tennis. Tennis. I love I, that book also. Yeah yeah like so when I get, I just don't know if it's like, worded like this or, whatever, but that's fine. When I have any sort of thought, whether it's like negative or positive, and it's just like kind of taking me from the moment, I try and like give myself something to like focus on. So like mm. the, the big thing for me right now is <clears throat> when I'm finding Fox is whenever any of those thoughts come up, um, I'm just like, okay, focus on Fox's tail. Like, go back to Fox. It's like, I'm not telling myself something to, like, actively do. It's just like, no, like, just shift your attention to Fox's tail and, like, um, so you can... Like, like literally it, the movement of it going up and down? Just just all of it, where, where it's at. Because it's like, if I'm focusing oh, on his tail, true. then I'm also going to be focusing on where he's at. And it's like... Yeah. That's all I want my body responding to while I'm in, like, a tournament match is focusing on where my opponent is at and using the context of, like, the game. But not actively thinking about other things. And it's like, I can't, because I can't control those thoughts. They they are just natural thoughts that are going to keep coming up. And it's like, no, I need a better game plan to deal with these thoughts. These thoughts are, like, an attack because my brain clearly wants to do its own thing. And I need a game plan for when these, like, petty attacks start coming up. And my current game plan, like, it's not perfect, but it's like, yeah, just look at Fox's tail. And, you know, maybe a few months from now, a few weeks from now, the game plan's a bit better. Maybe it helps me focus on, like, two things at once. Uh, while still, like, kind of ignoring those thoughts. But I don't know. But you get what I mean that, by, yeah. like, it's, it's this thing to practice and dive into. Because I don't actually have, like, an answer, but I'm, I'm figuring it out. Like, I'm figuring out how it works for me. That makes sense. No, it actually, that makes a lot of sense. It's, like, almost like uh, you, like, you're noticing that you have thoughts that are drawing you from the match, and you, like, almost, like, sounds like you're, you're training yourself even to, like, have a reaction to, like, being pulled away from the moment yeah. to, like, something that's very concrete. Yeah. Um, that's super cool. I That's something that I would love to get to a point of proficiency with. It's just because, like, like last night also i noticed like uh i actually had like a pretty good win that i was pretty happy about and then the next the, the next match right after that i lost to this uh like a game and watch main and i mm-hmm. felt pretty bad because you know like i literally just like and there were so many points during the set that i noticed that like i my focus was off but it was like not me noticing that it is it, sort of like my realization that like there might have been like 15 or 20 seconds where like my brain was kind of like half fried and I didn't mm-hmm. even notice it, if that makes sense. Like, I was thinking about stuff, and then, um, I, like, I didn't notice myself, like, drifting away from the match, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, and that's, like, 
dude, 10 to 20 seconds is huge. Yeah. I think I would win uh, most tournaments if all my opponents were to clock out of the game for 20 seconds, right. like, each game. <laughs> it makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. I yeah, might take was, yeah. two stocks, like, during those 20 oh. seconds. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, so if I, if I that's all right, I'll try the. I'm actually gonna try the tail thing. I think actually, or even just like reacting to myself having thoughts. Um, you just need to trick your brain. I, I said this in the lesson sense. before, but I was like, you have to be smarter than your brain. The brain mm-hmm. is like it, it's out to get you. <laughs> Not out to get you, but that's, it's like it's it's like trying to keep you safe and predict all these things and whatnot. And it's like no. Yeah. Need yeah, that no. thing to shut up. I, I need to give it something to, like, focus on. And it's like, hey, brain, look at Fox's tail. Isn't that really interesting? Like, you know. Makes sense. <laughs> and then Fox is just running around, and I'm just running, I'm just chasing, like, my eyes are chasing him running around. Like, yeah, like his tail. And what was I thinking about? And now I'm, like, comboing Fox and stuff like that. That's I'm, cool. Yeah. Ideally, like, you yeah. know, I, I do want to get more, like, to a place where I don't have to trick my brain. I think a lot of that might have to do with, like, some also just like mental growth and like mm. how do i put it because like i still kind of have to trick my brain because i still might subconsciously believe some of those things like if i lose mm. this then i think x about myself and blah 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 so it's like i kind of have to trick them in the moment because i'm like not fully mentally there yet but that i think sense. yeah the better i get at it like the more i know myself and like grow mentally then I, it probably would be like less tricking and just like acknowledging what it is and just be like oh that thing and then just you know paying attention to my game plan and all those things like i can focus on more things if i know what it is oh it feels like yeah i hadn't considered that but that actually makes sense but yeah because it, i think to some thoughts of, to some degree like the thoughts are kind of true too like I, like yesterday i also distinctly remember when I was playing the set that I had a good win in, like, there was someone, well, like, one of my friends was watching off to the side, and I could feel, like, some of my attention, like, caring about what he was probably thinking of me during the set, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, if I got hit by, like, a down throw down tilt at the ledge, I was like, oh, shit, like, like, I actually remember him pulling out his phone, but I could tell from my peripheral vision, after I got hit by, like, a down throw down tilt at the ledge, I was like, and... I, I was, like, angry at myself for, like, being distracted by yep, something like yep. that. But then also I was, like, I, but like now that you mentioned, like, it kind of makes sense to some degree. It's, like, I do care, like, what my friends think of me or whatever. But, yeah. like, it's not, like, something I want to, like, I want to, if, if my mental game was uh, more, uh, I don't know, maybe mature is the word. Like, well, like, I guess, yeah. That's why, again, that's why I think those things are, like, separate issues. And that's why I'm more kind of saying, like, for competing you want to that's why you need to trick your brain i guess but like you can't fix those thoughts by like tricking your brain those thoughts still have to be like very like looked at um Mm, makes sense you know like kind of getting to the root of why you even have those thoughts in the first place tricking tricking the brain is like it's like a short-term thing to do in like competition but i don't think the goal is to always trick your brain that makes sense yeah so like <clears throat> yeah i just want to make sure that, that those th- two things are like separate like, just to be clear what, what are the two things sorry so the two well things like are, yeah um tricking your brain and like having those thoughts and those thoughts actually like mean something like, you kind of have to look oh, into, like, why you have those thoughts in the first place. While right. still, like, tricking your brain when you need to. But it's just like, okay, well, like, let's get to the root of why these thoughts are coming up in the first place. Makes sense. Yeah. Again, yeah, they're, they're normal gonna... thoughts to, to have and everything, but um, how you can respond to them can change. The, like, more you know about them and why you have them in the first place. Yeah. That that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'll have to do some introspection into that. Um, yeah, yeah, that takes some work. I did have uh, one other like meta question, which is like I noticed. Um, I guess it's like thinking about like improvement, like as like a whole. I guess it's sort of an abstract question, but like I noticed like there are a lot of like up and comer like NYC players who have like started playing the last few years who are like doing really well and like they 
I think probably because they grew up in a different like learning landscape than I did with like so I started in 2014 um mm -hmm. like like Uncle Punch wasn't like a thing when I started like even 20XX I think was either new or like wasn't super Very widespread early. I feel like yeah, yeah I remember yeah so I feel like uh I feel like I'm falling behind in that aspect if that makes sense and I kind of like feel falling. bad for having more outdated practice habits if Wait, that makes sense falling behind how exactly like I don't like they're like the up and coming players are I mean to be super blunt like they outperform me like they're there's some who are either PR'd on like the in, in New York City or sure. they're like they're like taking wins and stuff and like I feel like I'm pretty happy with like how my growth has been over the course of like like I've definitely improved a lot and like learned a lot about the game but there's still like that like results thing in my head I guess like I'm mm -hmm. like still like thinking about like there's like players who are like grinding their ass off and like i feel like they have like the right mentality about stuff or I, that's at least that's what i'm perceiving you know what uh, I mean? like, um, yeah i get that i think that's just like trying to find a pattern of like uh why they might be better or something like that and it's like i think there there's just a number of reasons like it doesn't have to be like directly correlated to their mentality. Um, I know I, I know a lot of pretty good players who like they don't have the best mentality. So it's like it I don't know. The mentality has very little to do with like getting good, I feel like. Interesting. I think a, a mentality has a lot to do with like staying good. But, like, getting to a certain level, I don't think you need, like, the strongest mentality. And that certain level, like, I don't know. Again, it's kind of vague, and, like, I can't super explain it, but, like, it's probably the players you're talking about are at a level where, like, yes, they can hit some consistent things, they can do some combos, they can get some PR wins. They're probably not going to win a national or regional or major, Mm -hmm. But, like, they're at the level where they can do these things. And it's like, yes, that level is just obtainable by anyone through, like, raw practice and raw skill and, like, just hours into the game. Right. And, like, yeah, a big difference now with, like, 2014 is how many hours you can get. Like, you can mm. play you can play 10 different matchups in one day. And while while having Uncle Punch to practice, while also having instant like replay with slippy replays after you're done. Right, right. And all these people you're playing, you can talk to them in voice chat. You can ask right. them questions. Like there's all these extra things that like can really speed up that process into just getting to that level. Now, yeah, and like and like back in the day, of course, it's like can't play that many people. Um, 20XX, again, it was, yeah, it was pretty scarce and, like, kind of hard to use. So, like, you kind of had to rely on, like, Smash Fest and going to locals and not being able to look at it right away. You know, not yeah. being able to do the analysis, like, right after you lose or anything like that. So, yeah. There's a lot of Yeah, I guess factors. I gotta catch up, if that makes sense. Like, I, yeah. Um... Yeah, I feel like some of my habits, practice habits, are still kind of like stuck in the old era, if that makes sense, or older era. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just got to stop my game with regards to like replay analysis and stuff. Um, cool. Uh, I actually had like, I guess, um, I, I figured like a good way to like start this off would just be like a uh, like Fox Ditto, um replay. Okay. Um, this, is, this is someone I run into on ramp a lot, and um, I think. Um, here, I'll send it over. But, um, I think generally, like, things I'm trying to work on are, I am trying to move away from, like, like, being purely, like, very reads based in my punishes to, like, being a lot more reactive in a lot of different senses, and, like, I'm trying to stay calm and, like, stay more in dash dance. Uh, I do think, like, when I get nervous, I tend to start full hopping a lot. Um, mm -hmm and escaping vertically but um that's also something i'm trying to work on just like 
staying as grounded as possible, not like shielding on reaction to stuff, I guess. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh, I probably will stop to kind of retouch on like some basics and fundamentals. It's just what I've been doing for every like first oh. lesson. And I know this is our first yeah. lesson, so it's like, I don't want to skip over like some really important things to like kind of look at punish game or look at a specific option that you might be choosing too much or something like that. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Second, I need to share my screen. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Which one are you? Uh, I'm the white fox. Okay. Oh, you just messed up. Yeah, I don't know why. I turned around there. I am just gonna watch a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That was this was good. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep watching. <laughs> Maybe like two stocks. Or... Sounds good. Nice. Nice. Oh. And destroying him. I think, yeah, it gets closer. Um... Maybe I'm just gonna watch the whole game first. Okay. If that's fine. Nice. I haven't loved how you play most of the scramble situations when something weird happens. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that like something is off with that as well. Um, I, I mean, I, it's I, just yeah. I relate. <laughs> oh, I, oh. I feel Sammy Drug Fox tells me that all the time. And now now that I know it more, I see it more, and I'm just like, oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually super helpful then. Because, like, I don't know, I just... Like there's certain spots in like the, the foxhood where I just feel like kind of off, um, off my footing or I don't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just really like I, I feel like I've experimented with a bunch of different stuff and I'm trying to mix between things, but like I do kind of just get hit by like what I feel like I shouldn't be getting hit by. Um, but I don't know. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just looking at this. There's something about the situation that I'm trying to put into huh. words. Okay, okay, yeah, now I see. Alright. Um okay, let's go to the beginning. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay, before I start, do you remember um, reaction points? I'm sure oh, we talked yeah. about them a bit, like in previous lessons. Um, to you, it, like I remember there was an example. I think they might have come up. It was like when I full hop. Sometimes I just like full hop drill, but like if I full hop and I react to whether they're actually beneath me before drilling, mm -hmm. um, and then like actually like yeah, using that uh, to change what I do. Yeah, that's like a specific example, but do you understand it like as a concept? Um, and can you like, and if you do, can you like view the game under that lens, not just like a specific situation? I see. Um, I feel like the broader concept is like being more reactive instead of like kind of being in my own, I guess, habitual like flow i guess is how i would like i don't think i play to this super well like especially during scrambles is my guess um but i feel like 
So like my perception of like the drug fox also the school of thought is like like the look at the screen sort of stuff, you know? And yeah. like like knowing where to look or like when, I guess. Um I don't think I'm very good at this, to be frank. Like at least I have a pragmatic sense. I think like mm -hmm. conceptually I have some grasp maybe, but um You might be yeah, missing some steps. So like Yeah. Let me think of how I wanna word this. Because I I've had this problem before and like because I can experience having the problem so deeply, I think I can come up with a way that relates to you, so you understand this a lot quicker than I do. That would be really helpful. And I, yeah, <laughs> no, I just struggle. <laughs> I, it, just give me a minute to like think about how I want to word this. Yeah. no worries. Um, I am just trying to imagine talking to myself, like <laughs> oh, that's like sick. four years ago or something like that. And I come to myself with this problem. <laughs> and I'm like, oh lord. Time travel. I need to save this person, like, some years. <laughs> uh, that would be really nice. Yeah, no, I can, I can do it. Let me think. Okay. So, like, with reaction points, I feel like... Again, this goes back to, like, being something you understand, but not something you, like, practice. Mm -hmm. Like all the time this could be a huge point um like just this year for one month straight i only practiced reaction points i didn't do anything else i didn't do any mm -hmm. sort of like combo training or anything like that it's just that was the goal every game and huh. i did it for a month straight because something sammy taught me was uh he asked me he's like hey, you practiced before i'm like yeah he's like for how long i was like i don't know like a week or two and I thought I got it. He was like, well, when you think you got it, that's when you kind of want to double down on it and ah. really cement it. Because it's like, I've always kind of understood the theory. But now I'm thinking that even though I understood the theory, I think I also might have been missing parts of it. Where it's not just, um, okay, you use your reaction points to, like, watch them. Uh, hmm. Or, like, you're using your reaction points to, like, watch what they're doing, all of this. But, like, it's also, you have to tell yourself to, like, okay, check what they're doing before you make your next decision. If you have time. Check what they're doing. Yeah. I see. So, like, um, I don't know if this has to do with, like, if I practicing this is so hard is because like there isn't always positive reinforcement and I think that's like a lot of times how especially oh. smashers like just feed off of positive reinforcement that's how they kind of right. like decide what's good and what's not that's I, what I, I think yeah yeah and I think reaction points are so nuanced and it's not a black and white right or wrong thing it's just a again it's a lens how you view the game hmm. and there's not always positive feedback because, like, you can use your reaction point and still just get hit because you didn't have time. You can use your reaction mm -hmm. point and still get hit just because you lost a mix-up, right? So there's yeah. not always going to be, like, yeah, you don't always get confirmation that you're doing the right thing when you're practicing this. And that's probably why people, including me, like, stop practicing it sometimes. Because, like, mm -hmm. I can't tell if it's working, right? Yeah. And, like, here, I just need, I want to skip to the end of this game again actually yeah, I was, because because go ahead I, I was gonna say like i like in that interaction that you were rewinding like i know like so, so some part of me is like oh shit he like up smashed and then react my reaction was to like full hop uh -huh. uh, i think and then i'm like that's i'm definitely doing something super wrong <laughs> that's like it feels but then also it's like some part of me is like i it's hard for me to gauge the time factor because i'm just like what if he just like fucking glitched at me and running double shine you know, at the ledge or, yeah. or something. Or, well, um, in this case, yeah. if he did that, then your full hop wouldn't have done anything anyway. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like, you're already at a pretty big disadvantage, right? Huh, yeah. But it's like, so, um, again, I'm trying to explain this, like it were to me, is to also, like, factor in, like, your emotions in these situations. Or, like, right. your feelings, because it's like, you do these things because you feel like they're going to hit you. And that's like, when you start listening to, like, your feelings and emotions, it's like you don't, you stop paying attention to what they're actually doing. 
Huh. And it's like, because you're scared, because they could hit you. And it's like, yes, they could hit you. <laughs> it's a video game. It's a fighting mm-hmm. game. You could hit them in this situation, you know? Right. But they could also go early. They could also try and mix you up. They could also, like, wait. And in this case... Yes, you feel like you're going to get hit. And you want, like, the best DI possible. You want your counter and all that. You want to get out of there. Like, all those things respond to your feelings. But it's like, those feelings are fine, but, like, look at what he's doing first. Like, again, if you can shift your focus from those thoughts and be like, look at Fox. Mm. He jumps here and he stops here. It's like, we don't know he's up smashing yet, but this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... By now, mm. we should be able to see, right? So it's like, we don't have to, like, input jump yet. And I'm not even saying, like, again, I don't even want to talk about, like, all the options you could do here. Because that doesn't matter, really. Mm. Um, it matters, I guess, once you understand this. But I want to be talking about, like, focusing on the fact that you want, you have more available if you don't, like, do your input preemptively. Because a lot sense. of people will respond... A lot, a lot of people right here might wake up and hold shield. Right? And it's just like, yeah, he could up smash me. It's just like, yeah, your shield is only beating them if they're late, first of all. <laughs> they wouldn't mm. do anything. But it's like, yeah, they could do that. Um, they could also dash in. It's like, you don't want to always wake up shield when you don't have to. Because if you do, now you lose your threats. Like, if I did run up here and, like, miss, but you shield it, it's just like, oh, well, there's this running shine. There's his up tilt, right? There's his running, like, full hop. Like, he just loses, like, so many drifts, and he becomes, like, kind of capped at certain at a certain range if you decide to hold shield when you don't need to, right? But, again... Yeah. Now, imagine, like, explaining all this to someone, and then, them like, that person being all excited to try it, and they wake up and don't hold shield, and the fox still running up smashes them. They're like, do you... Like, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And it's like, nothing. <laughs> yeah. right, like, right. you know, it, it's not a right or wrong thing. That's just, that's how you want to play it. So, I guess, because I, I'm, like, bought in all of a sudden, like, on the reaction thing, mm-hmm. uh, reaction points, and, like, trying to use that as my focus for, like, a long time. Like, I, hmm, let me, let me think. yeah. So, like, on, on, on the first level, like, it's definitely, like, an emotional thing, like, that I definitely should, like, it's, you're right, like, I'm sort of, like, wrapped up in my fear of getting hit here, that, like, I'm not even, like, looking at the fox, like, I definitely have time to react to, like, uh, what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Um, does, does the, does practicing reaction points, I guess, come down to what you were saying before with, like, practicing tricking your brain? Like, is, is it, like... <sighs> I mean, you do need to focus to use reaction points. I mm. I wouldn't relate the two like that, but okay. I, guess, I, like, what, I get what you mean. Like, what would you maybe have me do if I like if I like go like like after this lesson, let's say, mm-hmm. and, like you want to practice like, this? Okay, I'm whenever. I'm the school of like reaction points. Like, yeah, well, I guess I would be curious. Like, I, maybe it's like this is the maybe impossible question no no, no, I, I, don't like, know, but I, I get like, this yeah because like this is a question that i would ask to if i if i were you and i would want <laughs> you know i i just want like some sort of like direction i guess uh yeah because i guess my perception of this is have you played disco elysium no okay fuck uh <laughs> never never mind <laughs> okay it, it basically like like all the all the um descriptions of this like micro situation like that you just said like make perfect sense Mm -hmm. like it's like like the frames like like if i was like looking for this and then also like i'm rolling away it's like negative like disadvantage and then like like if he had just gone for the thing like like running double shine i would have gotten hit like all that like makes a lot of sense it's like i just feel like i just feel like my my brain doesn't really i maybe i just don't i'm not like capable of making I, like I don't know, it's like I, I don't know how this if this makes any sense. It's like I just feel like uh, hello. <laughs> I I'm having trouble like like figuring out like the framework through which you 
process the situation if that makes sense like i think the analysis makes sense but it's like yeah. hard for me to like understand how to think like you are thinking about it i guess and do you know why it's hard why it's because you haven't practiced it <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah, like okay. you're, you're trying to think your way through it. Fuck. Yeah, like nah, dude. That's I true. I don't know where the the melee lines come from that you can like think your way through it and just like I don't know, do it. It's very weird. A lot of people. Not. It's not even weird. I think it's normal. But actually, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my perception of this it. sometimes came from like the old school like top player content, like. I feel like, um, like, really, really, like, old content used to be, like, oh, like, if you just, like, were intentional, like, you'll become a top player, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, like, I was, like, oh, fuck, I guess my critical thinking is just, like, in the dumpster. Um, no. <laughs> but, okay, that makes sense, though. I need to practice it. You're I right. think, I uh, do think, um, a lot of players, like, when they get into Melee they listen to the people who have results and they listen to all these like misconceptions and things mm. and it really like imprints on them and it kind of structures like how they go about how to, how to think about the game yeah and it's kind of dangerous if you don't know what's happening but i, I don't know it, i don't want to say use the word dangerous because like a lot of good comes from it like right i am the way i am like as a player and I did all these things the way I did because of how like the game was imprinted on me and what I thought of the game mixed with my yeah. own like personality and everything but it played right. a huge role in it but uh I the other thing is like when listening to advice about like from top players about these things a lot of times the advice is like just an answer but it's never like the full solution of how to like yeah. get there it's just like a direct answer and it, it it ranges from like saying like oh you should just up smash from saying like oh you should think like this like they're both just like straight answers that like don't i don't know like we just take them too literally and then we're kind of stuck with those answers and that's what we believe that makes sense because we don't know how to actually solve the problem yeah. And it has to do also with how we ask the question because we ask questions in a way that just wants, you know, the answer. I don't know if right, that's making right, sense. Right. But... Yeah, that does, that does make sense. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad. Huh. Trust me, I, I, everything you're saying, I have heavily related to. <laughs> and it, it, it is why I'm able to, like, explain it in this detail because it's like, I know the theory of all this stuff, but I also know the mistakes because I have thought differently. Like, I, I trust you on where you think I should put my focus. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, be, yeah, actually, everything you're saying makes a lot of sense. Now, um, I do have suggestions on how to practice it. Uh, one suggestion that Sammy told me, and that I think is really, really good, is to play slower. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that means, like, waiting even if it means waiting a little bit longer before mm. you do something cuz like let's say like you're not you're not good at waiting before something maybe you start off and you wait and you don't react to something till like 20 frames later and it's like oh okay and then like i don't know you do that for like a day maybe a few days and maybe that reaction goes up to like 17 frames or something like that it makes like small improvement you're getting quicker at reacting to situations that are new to you mm. And it's like, you keep doing that, you keep doing that, and then you can go faster and faster. But, like, yeah, if I were you, maybe in this situation, or just any situation, it's like, okay, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait before I do something. Hmm. And, you know, maybe one game you get nared in the face. You're like, okay, I could have shielded. Got it. But then next game, what if you wait, and they do this up smash, and you're like, oh, free grab. That, that was crazy. I just ran up and grabbed them. Like, this person just whiffed mm. something in my face. And because I was waiting, I was able to see that. But then you'll be able to, like, the better you get at that, the quicker you'll be. It's just be like, okay, I'm waiting. Oh, they haven't done anything yet. Now I'm a shield. I'm waiting. Oh, they did do something. Cool. Now I get to hit them. I see. Yeah. I. It sounds like, like, on some level, like, it's going to be helpful for me to almost... So, like, I... I 
it it seems like I have like a lot of like instinctive reactions to situations like my brain sees something or whatever mm -hmm. and then like I press the button and like having putting some space between that is like at, at least it's going to help me control it I guess uh it sounds like I don't know if... yeah yeah I don't know if control is the right word but I I get what you mean mm. yeah um or at least like I I want to I, I guess, generally speaking, I want to think more strategically, I guess. Like, um, I guess, like, when you describe the situation, like, I feel like there are, like, a lot of dimensions to your analysis. And, like, I feel like right now, like, sometimes I can play on, like, what I would consider, like, a more complex game plan, like, if it's, like, Palmer neutral. But then when it gets, like, especially this the last talk of this game, like, I start becoming like, oh, am I about to get hit? Oh, can I mm -hmm. hit him? You know, like, but it, and then it's like, that's not where I would like my headspace to be in, um, ideally, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that takes practice. Okay. I'll work on that. Yeah. Huh. I mean, trust me, I, I also need to work on it. Because, again, I know the knowledge too, and it's like, I think this week was probably the best I've been able to, like, apply this in tournament at my local. Because there were spots where I did get nervous. And I, or I did get nervous or I did have like random thoughts and I was like okay I know what those are like <laughs> I'm ignoring that or like I'm, I'm gonna focus oh, on uh, cool. I'm gonna focus on something else cause like, I just know what those thoughts are they're not like confusing me it was like oh, okay like you just you just get a little nervous cause we're last talk and we're about to like maybe mm. win but like you you can fixate on that if you want I am gonna watch uh, Marth <laughs> yeah yeah that's cool. That's that's that's. It was cool. pretty. It, yeah, like, uh, it was fun. I don't know if you're like, uh, like into like meditation and stuff, uh, or I don't mm -hmm. know. There's like a, that's like a rabbit hole I've been going down a lot, and like what you're describing, it's like, <laughs> you're like you're doing like the whole meditation like rabbit hole like through Smash, like it's kind of sick. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's dope as fuck. Um, okay, yeah, I. <clears throat> Um, so it sounds like in order to like really but so when you said like the play slower thing like that's like I guess uh, one of my takeaways for something I want to practice uh, or like try doing in order to understand the reaction point stuff better mm -hmm. um, it sounds like that's primarily against other people or I don't know how you practiced what, it what, what do you mean like uh, it sounds like or like my where my instincts were headed is like you know like post lesson like if next time I practice like oh, I'm gonna I, um, I see I see yeah I do think you yeah. should practice this with someone or with people um, okay. yeah yeah that's that's a uh, one suggestion the other one is what I would tell myself as well is like to shift like my goals when practicing this. Like, the purpose of practicing this is to practice it and no other purpose. Meaning, like, the purpose is no longer to win four stocks in a row. Like, that's the purpose mm. of, like, competing. But that's not the purpose of, like, practicing. So, like, mm. if I can convince myself of that and ignore whatever, uh, like, asshole I'm fighting, being like, oh, I'm doing really well. And blah, like, if I can ignore all that and ignore my ego and, like practice and it's like okay this is effective and i am like getting better at it i might be Makes getting sense. my ass kicked i might naturally be winning games depending on like who i'm playing and how like well other things are going that are out of my control like i have no idea what my opponent's going to be doing they might it might line up with like what i'm already good at who knows right. but like i can't worry about that and i can't like get uh tricked into thinking the results of those games like mean anything about what I'm practicing. Right. Even if, again, even if they're going like positive or negative, it's just like this, again, this isn't a right or wrong thing. Makes so, sense. Yeah. Yeah, it, because, I guess it's just like, it's like uh, counterintuitive, I may, maybe, because it's like if I'm doing the reaction points perfectly like I probably will be steamrolling people at my level, but simultaneously it's like the goal is not to the goal of a more focused practice session, I guess, would not be for me to 
focus on winning, but rather to just do the reaction points well. Mm. But it's like, if I am doing reaction points well, I'm probably reacting way better than my opponents are in, in certain situations or whatever. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. That makes sense. I'm glad. Yeah, this is usually yeah. what the first lesson is like. It's like, uh, we probably watch like a minute, a minute of Melee. And, <laughs> but then like, you know, lesson like two and three and stuff, like it's more watching the game. We can dive deeper into some things, risk reward and all that nonsense. That makes sense. Optimizing some things, edge guarding, like a um, lot more. Is it possible for me to like, so you do like the reaction points kind of analysis on other uh, decision points within this game, maybe? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened a few times. We can go over some examples so you can get like, I don't know, just a better feel. Yeah, it's actually really helpful for me to hear like the you describe your your thought process like viewing stuff. I guess. Um, But yeah, I'll bring it up when it happens. Like, everything cool. so far has been pretty pretty good. Oh, sweet. Okay. This might be one. Mm. Where it's like... Melee is also so ambiguous because... A problem might be a reaction point problem. Or it might be a risk of war problem. Mm. Where it's like... You might not have known that they weren't on top of you. And you thought they were closer. So you shined. Or you thought they would already be dashing into you or approaching you in a way you're trying to beat them with shine. And the risk Makes reward sense. on that is pretty bad. So it's like, I can't know which one it is. That one has to like come from like you and your analysis. But mm. this is a situation where I couldn't tell which one happened. Oh, I think I was... I was scrapping. I was hoping CC Shine would work. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I think like. Um... You, but you were playing off of like a, an emotion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you're in the scrap. Okay, cool. Um, let's also look at how you got into the scrap. I think that's pretty important. But. Yeah, some of them. Like, if I just hit that tech chase, like. Um... I ignore that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you're here. Because, like, this situation, yeah. I, it's, it's like, yes, you were in a punish, but, like, this is kind of just a normal situation that's going to come up. So that's why I'm saying ignore, like, the missed tech chase or whatever. Mm. Fox is following, you're dashing at Fox. All right, cool. And you went in trying to, like, overshoot, like, a down tilt, it looks like. Mm. Oh, right. wait, I think I was trying to running shine him, actually. I think I was, like, that, or maybe, or maybe I tried to down tilt No, I see down tilt. Oh, oh, shit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is that is the oh. third thing of, like, is it a reaction point problem, a risk war problem, or is it just an actual, like, tech error? I'm not sure. Again, this is why you have to know in your analysis, but, like, assuming you try to down tilt. Yeah. Then it, then that means we think Fox is either going to be, like, right here or something or here. Mm. But it's, like, you do your down tilt, and, like, you commit to it, and that's when you should be, like, checking using your down to it as your reaction point. Because there's nothing else you can do. Right. So, like, about here. This is when you start your down to it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Like, even if you still wanted to CC shine, like, you don't have to go that early. Even if they were, like, mm. right here, right? They're, they're still in the air. They're going to have, like, what, like, 8 frames of landing lag still? So this is like 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. That's a whole lot. Mm. All right. So like, I don't know. Like, what do you think? Were you just, was it just like a, this is me listening to my feelings. I'm in a scrap. I'm just trying to see shine. I was not looking at Fox at all. Or was this like, yeah, I thought this would hit because it's going to hit Fox right in. Or no, it... are you spamming like running shine because you messed up? Hmm. Oh, I guess it would be my gut is saying like mostly the first one, like the emotions one, and then maybe to some degree, maybe third has like a coping mechanism. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, because I, I definitely, I think my perception of the Fox videos is like sometimes I feel in control, and then when it loses control, like I just like, I don't even know what's happening. Like things are like the I don't think you everywhere. Know stuff matters. Okay. Oh wait, which, which stuff like... matters? You mean? Well, thinking of it under the lens of like 
in the fox ditto, the hitboxes do this, and it's like, I feel like that's still more of, like, your feelings attached to what you think the fox ditto is or whatever. Because mm. it's just, I don't know. Like, it being a fox ditto is not relevant for what you need to learn here. Because this is going to be no different from, like, a scramble with Peach. Like, that's true. It, like, the only thing that's going to be different is, like, how you go about it, the options you choose, the risk-reward is going to be different. But, like, how you think about it should not be different. So thinking of it under the lens of, like, this, this fox it or this and that, it's just like, no, no, no. Like, just melee. Two wireframes, and one wireframe has a fast move, the other one has, like, fast movement or whatever, or slower movement, bigger moves, like... Right. You know? Don't get caught up in, like the fox did a fuck fox like <laughs> it has nothing mm. to do with fox and t- until you like learn how to play it then it's like okay well what options does fox have then we can go there but like makes sense so for this situation i guess it would have been successful if i did the down tilt and then like during the down tilt i was or like after the down tilt like i actually like reacted to what they were doing like mm-hmm um, and I like, saw that the fox was like far away and like knowing that in some percentage of games like because he might literally just like running near me I yeah. guess just like on reaction and I might get hit by that or I might yeah. not have enough time to do anything about it but like it's still a win I guess yeah sounds like. Like, there's, there's still a lot that you can do here like if we were to play this like in hindsight um, in hindsight in terms of like how we're going to play it not which option we're going to choose i guess but like how we're going to play this is like okay try the down tilt um we got clipped let's see so we missed this we're reading like dash back um we can decide whether or not that's good or not but that's a little bit different we try this and it's like okay we get hit and we're still holding down okay fine Maybe I'll st- I'll keep holding down to bait an attack. Maybe I'll full hop in place. Maybe I'll hold shield. Maybe I'll time another down tilt for them running in. Right. Maybe I'll roll. But those are the, my that, those would be like the options or like how I would play this in hindsight or how I'd be thinking about this in hindsight. They can nail me. They could grab me. Maybe that time a spot dodge. Um, they could dash dance. The one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to give up all those options by doing right. something too early. Right. Right. Like, I, I don't... Right. This, like, because you have to understand, this isn't the situation you wanted. That's the other thing. It's like accepting the situation for what it is, even though it's not what you wanted. Right. Right. So, like... Where does it happen? Right here. Yeah, so you want your down tilt to hit, to hit. But it didn't, and now we're here, and it's like, okay. Like, you're just thrown into this situation. You don't get, you don't have time to, like, always reset. You don't have time to, like, think of the best answer. It's like, you are here. What's your answer? And it's just like, whether you like it or not, <laughs> what is your answer? And if you cannot answer it, or you answer it too quickly, and it's like, yeah, you're just pretty bad in this spot. Bad in this rambles, right. quote unquote. You know, that's what people told me. But I see. Yeah. I, I'm starting to. I'm starting to understand this. I feel like a little better. It's like the first step is like almost like a resetting of like my brain after the situation doesn't go well, or not like a re- maybe resetting is not the right word, but it's like um, because hypothetically I'm like focused on where the other fox is, like, and I'm not pushing the button instantly, like. I don't know. I see the situation now. I'm like in stand. I'm in like wait or whatever instead of in shine, and then from there, there's like the risk of reward of like okay, like you know he might narrow me, so maybe I'll I don't know, turn around up till or CC something. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Huh. That's <laughs> that sounds impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna work on it, but yeah. It's hard. But, yeah, it's a lot. I think you'll have more fun, though. Huh. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you're yeah. just going to be, like, more, like, in touch with the game and playing, the deep, like, a deeper part of the game. Makes sense. Huh. 
being able to outplay these people in these little interactions is a uh, very fun. Actually, yeah, that would that would be really cool. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. Like I feel like um, like I feel like most fun I do have playing melee is like when I feel like I'm in the matrix. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. like I'm just like perceiving stuff and then just kind of like maneuvering around stuff and yeah. And, okay, yeah, I'll 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 definitely I'll definitely work on this, huh? Okay. Well, I mean, we can start wrapping up, but cool. I feel like that is, like, a huge load of information, so I'm not going to add even more onto it. Yeah. Make but sure. if you have okay. questions about it, like, yeah, I can, we can talk about um, that. Um, I have stuff to work off of right now. I, maybe questions will come up or something, um, and I'll bring them up next lesson or something. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, I, I have a lot to think about for sure. Are, are you going to be at Collision, actually? Um, yeah, I will be. Yeah. Okay, cool. If I see you, I'll say hi. But yeah. Okay, cool. Um sweet. Yeah. Uh anyway, uh yeah, thanks thanks for today. I'll uh I'll maybe see you at collision then. Okay, sounds good. All right. All right. See, see ya. Soon.